Willis MB, battery bracket hold down assembly. Let's take a close look at the Ron Fitzpatrick Jeep Parts USA made J bolts that hold down the battery retaining bracket on the top of the battery. If you notice here, these are die pressed with two little dimples on the outside of the washer. And what that does is when you insert it into the hole on the battery tray, they're not going to slide through and fall down. It's going to hold that right in place, which makes it really easy for installation when you have to service the battery. On the battery tray, there's two stops that are riveted into the top of the tray. I'll go ahead and show you here before I install the battery where the other J-bolt goes. These can be installed one of two ways. The L, and I'll take it back out and show you, the L would be facing towards the inside like this. I've got a way that I like to do it because I have seen these actually come loose on other Jeeps. If you insert that J-bolt and turn it so the L actually backs into the back side of the bracket on the front and the back, when you tighten the wing nut down, that'll be really secure and it won't go anywhere. I'm not saying that this way is wrong with the L-Tors, I just like to do it the opposite way and have that bite into the actual tray on the bottom side of it. The holes in the battery tray that are mounted to the frame are offset towards the engine as well as the bracket that holds down the battery and you'll see that in a minute when I install that. I've got a modern six volt battery. I've removed all the stickers off of it so it looks a little bit more period correct. And the battery sits up against the stops that I showed you earlier in the video. The battery is oriented on the tray. The negative post is heading towards the front of the Jeep or the grill, and the positive post is heading towards the rear of the, of the Jeep. This is the part you're really gonna like the fact that those J-bolts do not fall down to the tray because of that dimpled inserted washer there. We've got our battery retaining or hold down bracket, and if you notice, these brackets here where the J-bolts go through are offset as well as I showed you earlier in the video on the battery tray. It fits nice and the corners are gonna be held down very nicely. I'll lift up one side here, the one that goes towards the rear of the Jeep. Insert it onto the bolt. That's where you're really gonna like the fact that those do not fall back down. We'll install a washer, a lock washer, and then the wing nut. At this point, I'm not gonna completely tighten this wing nut down because I'm gonna lift up on the corner of the opposite side and do the same thing with the J-bolt to get it installed. Lift up on the corner, install our J-bolt, install the washer, the lock washer, and then the wing nut. At this point, I'll just go ahead and snug these wing nuts up on both sides. This is the point at the beginning of the video where I was saying about camming the lower part of the J to the battery tray underneath just to be a little bit more secure. So I'm just gonna make sure that that's cammed in by turning this top lever. You can hear it click on the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fully tighten that wing nut. So the J on the bolt right now is oriented that way underneath the battery tray. I'm just gonna turn this so that J is cammed in now to the back side of the battery tray. And I just feel personally that's a little bit more secure than just leaving them pointed towards each other underneath the battery tray. We'll snug that down. And you can see here, the battery is nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. It's not gonna vibrate loose. I've actually seen, it, had, it happened to myself, where I didn't have the correct bolts and I didn't have the correct hold down clamp. And the battery kind of moved around when I was driving over some bumpy roads and actually made contact, one of the posts made contact with the bracket that I had and it actually got hot and melted a hole in my battery. So you really want to be sure that your battery is secure in your project. So I've got the J bolts installed, I've got the battery hold down bracket installed and the battery is all secure. And I know what you're going to ask, you say, Scott, why are you putting the battery in at this point in the build? Well, that's going to be a surprise, but let's just say somebody wants to drive this chassis. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Team G503 on YouTube to follow us and follow our rebuild of this 1943 Willis MB. Keep it safe and happy Jeep.